This video is about degrees of sexual sadism and eugenics to achieve that. And ultimately, it is the Masons and all these secret societies who pretty much have a similar philosophy for, as the Masons, and many of them were started by Masons. Hell, even the Klan was said to be started by a person who went into Masonry, Nathan Bedford Force. So first, let's talk about the moral spirit. You see, every day I focus on morality. Other people, they go to work. They focus on conformity. They do things that are conformist things that a moral person simply wouldn't do. So the repetition of the moral spirit is like it says in Psalms, uh, somewhere in the 60s, God refines us like silver. Okay? God formed the mountains. He formed the heavens and the earth. He refines those who are loyal to, them, to him like silver with fire and water, etc. So the moral spirit is like God refining one. And you don't have to be religious to see it. When we see a banker walk into the bank dressed a certain way, do we not quickly put together what he, who he is, what he does, and about how moral he is? Is it not the same with a stockbroker, with an athlete, uh, with a librarian, okay, with a construction worker, and so on and so forth? When one sees the African martial artist they are blind if they can't differentiate him between, uh, between him and the thug, between him and the fraternity uh, mason. Okay? These guys are these labels. We are who we are. If you are a yuppie, you cannot be a great person because you are limited by who you are. That's the path you accepted. That's what you are. You are a yuppie. Okay? You are a young urban professional. Same thing with being a scientist or a politician. That's who you are. You're not a wise person who's dedicated themselves to morality. You've dedicated yourself to science, and perhaps you dabble in morality. Your repetition is science. Your repetition is politics as in the context of being a conformist, uh, making uh, deals and compromises and sort of bipartisan ninny, or any other kind of ninny making compromises with their political party. You cannot be great. If you are a conformist, you cannot be great. If you are corporate sponsored, you cannot be great. So let's look at the idea of uh, the learned man. If you are a yuppie, you're not a learned man, okay? You're not a wise person. Why do hippies and gurus and these Hindus who walk, who at the end of their life, they, they wander the world, okay? Why do monks, Catholic monks, Buddhist monks, why do they all come to the conclusion that they should separate themselves? Now, some of you say, well, you don't have to do it. Well, you know, and you're Christians. Shame on you. Why did Jesus roam the wilderness? Why did John the Baptist go into the wilderness? Think about it. Because wise men, martial artists, spiritual men, moral men alike, know that you must separate yourself from the culture of this world, and the core culture of this world is the yuppie culture. Young, urban, professional, social planner, city planner urban developer, programmer, manager. These people are the core of profanity, the profane, the worldly. Down to earth, sophisticated even means void of spiritualness, uh, spirituality. It is sophisticated like a technician. A technician is not morally sound. He's not spiritually sound. He's a worker. The vast majority of criminals are workers. How many gang members? have jobs. Even if they don't, they're selling drugs all day. They're scrambling to work. It's like an office manager or something. They're managing their drug empire like a, like a pharmaceutical manager or something, or CEO. Okay? The myth of the lazy gang member is part of the problem with society. If you don't work, you don't eat, and being in the ghetto makes that inevitability more obvious and not less. So now that we've ruled the scientist and the yuppie and anyone with a label other than a wise person, like I'm a martial I'm a learned, wise martial artist who's in the repetition of morality every day. We must distinguish this between that and the UFC fighter, the American taekwondo or American karate guy, okay? The traditional guy. They're in a system that's allowed and they're in the repetition of working on their business and teaching a system that's allowed, which almost always comes with a yin-yang philosophy, which is about balance with the earth. They're doing calligraphy. They're doing stretches. They're, they're, they're 
working on their uniform, okay? They're holding class. They're not in the repetition of morality, but instruction and skilled activities, and it's not the same. They do not derive their, their driving force from a moral focus, but simply a traditional focus and a conformist focus when the martial artist is about, martial arts is about transcendence. Martial to go where? It is superior to teach people in a way that, that creates marital uh, couples that go to heaven, that, that focus on leaving the world, not to balance their work life with martial arts. There's many programmers and people that balance their conformist life with martial arts. First and foremost, they are a programmer. First and foremost, they are conformist. Then their hobby is martial arts. First and foremost, I am a transcendent hero, and martial arts help me to get there. My focus is moral transcendence, moral heroism, moral toughness, moral truth, and facing immorality, expelling the evil from my body and crushing it and not accepting it so I can communicate and go along and get along better. And we see this with mental health. This is very interesting. It is like a, the higher path is like a cat you know, tightrope walking, and he's walking like a cat, and he's thinking effectively, right? It's a higher, more difficult path that's above the other ones, okay? He's, and think about this cat as, as moving with moral grace. Put him in the form of a human now. He's a leopard walking with moral grace. He's walking the higher path with moral focus. Now think about how he would clash, say, in feudal Japan, where there's different warlords and shoguns, and some of them are extremely immoral and sexually immoral and they want to fight with this guy over how the culture should be. Okay, what ends up happening is we see a trade war, we see a reproductive war, we see a military war, we see a martial arts philosophy war, and obviously globalism in the New World Order is about killing my philosophy, and I'm the last one with it, really, who really lives by it, uh, and breeding with those who are willing to roll with this extreme evil in this very definitive standoff that determines the fate of humanity, and they are going straight down. And anyone who's alive when the smoke clears have made a deal with the devil to go straight down with no, not even the semblance of hope of escaping. So now when we look at this, this yuppie thing, how far do they go? I have, I have a brother who has money in the bank, and he won't even buy a new pair of jeans. He won't admit why that is, because social clubs have come together and said, you can't look better than we do. They set the stage for him to get beat up. They do all kinds of stuff. This network of social clubs to make it seem that, they, that he's in fear. And it goes back to sexual sadism, using eugenics and the Masonic and secret society structure to create a world through breeding, bodybuilding, building society, okay, planning, early uh, identification, prevention, and intervention, okay, action. Okay, to create a society like Sim City or something, this old video game where you build your, your society. This goes here, this goes here, this goes there, right? This kind of people are going to live there. We're going to kind of surgically remove the troublemakers, right, to build this society. Why did they bring down the Panthers so fast? But all these gangs that have been here for so long have proliferated to a ridiculous degree. It is social planning. It is the eugenic narrative. All these yuppie women are married to guys who support these ideas, who give them their PR lift, who make nice with all the worst criminals in their nice neighborhoods, in their gated criminal uh, viper pits, if you will. And uh, they can't see, their argument is either they can't see the evil in their husband, okay, or they do see it and they're just as evil. What other argument can be made? I've proven definitively that the yuppie is not only not a wise or learned man, he is given the most evil men a PR lift, and hard work by itself is, does not mean virtue. You're working hard, who are you working for? Like I said earlier, the vast majority of criminals have jobs and work hard. To then say your job somehow makes you greater than they, uh, makes you decent is stupid. The provider argument is a criminal argument. Would you have told, should a woman tell Jesus, you need to provide money for me? Should she tell John the Baptist? These people went through the wilderness finding God. They did not prioritize making money. They prioritized finding God, and they were killed for it, as was Stephen, as was Peter in popular culture. The martyr argument, the man who finds God, is the only way to God. He said he is the way, the truth, and the life. Not to be a provider, not to find your life in this world, but the martyr argument. 
All right, going back to Matthew 10, okay? Anyone who lo 37, anyone who loves their father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow me, being killed by this world, is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose, and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it in their scripture that talks about how you have not yet resisted your worldly temptations to the point of shedding your blood. And you see me carrying my cross, being persecuted, losing weight, messing up my, eye, my, my eyesight, trying to create the eugenic narrative to make white people seem, white skinned people seem more healthy and more intelligent than I am when they have limited themselves to these despicable labels like scientist, yuppie, okay? You've chosen to be a corporate scientist bitch. You've chosen to be a corporate sex cult pussies little yuppie puppet. You are subordinates to pedophile, sexual sadist, rape cults. No servant can be greater. Sade, the singer, has certain features that are similar to the Marquis de Sade. When you go through his pictures enough, you see the ones that look just like Sade. That is not a coincidence. People had sex cults and they look similar to each other. And that's really where the quote unquote races come from. They come from pagan cultivation, sex cult, occult, the reproductive cycle, the O, cycles. Okay, reproduction and production, corporate production, corpus meaning body, corporation, core, pi, rit, core, poor, a, shun, alpha, shun, they're betas, they're scum. Beta scrambled his beast. So anyway, so I went over the hippies, the monks, the gurus, okay, the temple folk. The temple folk also don't live a yuppie life. Why don't the why don't the, the people who are truly in some holy temple in Lalibela, in Ethiopia, in, in Israel, and so on, why don't these people who have dedicated their lives to some some non-urban, true holy sacred ground temple and not a nation with a long history of bloodshed like a Western nation or something? Why why do these people not live a yuppie life? Because the yuppie life is not superior. It is evil. Conforming to a bloodshed nation's social norm culture is evil. Those are the cultural norms of this world. The nations in rebellion, they are evil. All right. So, so when we look at neuroplasticity, we look at Da Vinci's Renaissance Man argument, which includes sketches of the brain, the skull, talking about, you know, the, you know he contributed neuroscience, as the story goes, uh, the body, the mind-body, etc. okay? We consider these things and, and, and the Harvard and Stanford studies about cognition and exercise, right? It is insane to say someone like me is mentally ill and a beta who sits there diagnosing people and doesn't exercise and doesn't work their brain as effectively as I work mine and doesn't...